1995, as I saw the internet transition from a research academic network where commercial use was actually forbidden by the acceptable use policy, mm -hmm. commercialization of the internet also posed a threat to independent development, mm -hmm. content and production and distribution, especially mm -hmm. distribution. Mm -hmm. So the answer to that was, the premise was the only way to assure the existence and the uh, universal distribution of independent, non-corporate, non-commercial art mm -hmm. content, cultural content, was to be able to buy the bandwidth. Mm -hmm. Because unlike the broadcasting spectrum, which is regulated in this country at least, and, and the concept of the global commons, the airwaves, the electromagnetic mm -hmm. frequency spectrum being public resource, mm -hmm. like the oceans, the internet in its physical infrastructure is privately, corporately owned. Mm -hmm. So the question was how to establish some kind of public space or public access and assure that in a non-commercial cultural way in this climate of, uh, in this privately owned world. How to create commercial space, I mean, how to, I'm sorry, how to create public space mm -hmm. in a commercially owned world.